Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to talk about an easy drag and drop method to install Breath of the Wild mods on your Simu Wii U emulator on your Steam Deck. So you got your Steam Deck and you're hyped about playing yeah, Zelda boy. Breath of the Wild. You see a bunch of videos on YouTube showing how well it runs on the Simu emulator. And you want to make this playing experience a little bit different from when you played it last. So let's spice up the game with some cool mods I found on the internet. Let's go! This tutorial will be for running mods on a Wii U version of Breath of the Wild on the Steam Deck. The recommended way to install Simu is with the Emu Deck as it'll download the latest experimental version of Simu that will be compatible with all ROM versions of Breath of the Wild, including the compressed WUA version and any uncompressed unencrypted version as well. This version is unique as even with the BCML mod manager, it requires you to use the unencrypted, uncompressed version of Breath of the Wild. Uh, this drag and drop method will work with the WUA format and will require minimal effort in installation. All credit for each included mod is given to their respective owners, highlighting the folks that worked on the second win Breath of the Wild mod and the Linkle 3.0 uh, mod, which I find to be the best of the bunch. So my recommended guide for installing Emu Deck on your Steam Deck if you haven't done so already is the Retro Game Core tutorial. A link will be in the description below. After installing Emu Deck and Simu on your Steam Deck, you'll now need to get the ROM files in order to play Breath of the Wild. Now I'm not able to provide any links or any direct assistance on finding these files. You'll have to look those on the internet yourself. Just as a note, the ROM files will need to be the .wua format that includes the updates and DLC, or they'll need to be in any unencrypted, uncompressed format that includes the DLC and all the updates as, as well. After you've gotten your Breath of the Wild ROM set up, we can go ahead and download my mod pack that I've provided and pre-made for you in the link in the description below. Please download and extract the file. Once you've extracted the file, go ahead and copy. My version of Emu Deck is on my SD card. So I will click Primary, Emulation, ROMs, Wii U, Graphics Pack, and you can paste the folder extracted right there in the Graphics Pack folder. After you've done that, go ahead and start up your version of Simu on your Breath of the Wild game, right click and edit graphics packs. Expand the mod section. You'll want to first check the extended memory and an FPS++. This will allow your game to run at a smooth 40 frames per second. Then below we'll, you'll show all of the mods that I've included in my download. You know, most, most of these mods will work especially if you run them individually, I feel free to mess around. The reason I've chosen to make this mod tutorial this way is to provide a low barrier entry to those looking to get into the modding scene with minimal effort. Some limitations of this method will be that uh, Simu will not able to run multiple mods at the same time. The only limitation I've found in this way is trying to run the Linkle 3.0.1 mod with the second wind mod as it'll cause your emulator to crash upon starting. However, most other mods seem to work at the same time. So for instance, I can enable the Linkle mod and then I recommend uh, the Linkle dialog fix at the same time if you're running the Linkle mod. We can exit out of there and start, double click on Breath of the Wild. Looks like we've loaded it successfully. Let's go ahead and hit continue and start our game to confirm that everything is working correctly. All right, we can see our Linkle model is working great. When I first get uh, when I first got into the Breath of the Wild moddings, uh, I always thought Linkle was sort of like a meme character, uh, but it turns out that it's an official uh, character release from Nintendo that I think was released on the Hyrule Warriors games for like the Wii U and Switch. And so there's a bunch of content on uh, Linkle, including a bunch of different outfits and all that stuff. Uh, if you want to get into the BCML mod loader, uh, which I can provide a tutorial on that uh, 
in a later video. So one of my personal favorite mods from Breath of the Wild is the second wind mod. So that one we can enable that. And this one doesn't seem to work with a lot of other mods, including the Linkle mod. So when you run Second Wind, uh, when you use this method, I found that only enabling that will work. Like I said, it's a limitation of the method that we're using. If you want to install the BCML mod loader, uh, you'll be able to use a lot more mods in, at the same time. So on this mod, you can confirm that it's working because the logo will be changed. So you can see a bunch of side quests up here. And so that's how you start a lot of the quests that are available in the Second Wind. The Second Wind mod includes uh, additional dungeons, bosses, uh, quality of life updates, and a bunch of detail. A lot of work has been put into the mod and provides a lot of additional content to the game. And that's it, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you're interested in installing uh, a Paper Mario 64 HD hack or a, or a guide on how to get HD textures working on different emulation platforms, I invite you to watch some of the videos as seen on the screen now. If you found this useful, please like and subscribe to this video, share it with anyone that has a Steam Deck, and thanks a lot. I'll see you in the next one.